Government concluded the vaccination of teachers in Kampala yesterday in a four-day vaccination drive that was instituted. That was instituted to enable them get back to work. This vaccination drive saw over 11,000 teachers receive their jabs for the first time while others for the second time. And this according to the Director of Education Services at the Kampala Capital City Authority, Madam Juliet Nambinamudu, will see those that have received their first jab get the second one after they had reported reported back to school, as she explains. That the majority of them already uh, have already got their second doses, and uh, we look forward to the ones who are vaccinated recently getting their second jobs as well once there are weeks of, uh, of, 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 of waiting are completed from the first dose to the second dose. But eventually, by the time we completed the cycle yesterday, quite a number of people had come in, and I must announce that minus the results of yesterday, we had by Saturday 10,782 uh, people who have been vaccinated. This vaccination is going to be carried out in the entire country, so I believe that at the end of the day, we will have so many teachers and supporting staff in the entire country who will have been vaccinated in preparation for the reopening of schools once we receive guidance. From His Excellency, the President. Juliet Namudu explains further why the teachers had to take this job, and some of those reasons include saving their own lives but also maintain their education jobs. We had a bit of a, of, of, of a challenge in the first uh, reopening of schools where some children actually fell ill, and uh, it was not a very good, um, um, it wasn't very good. So, teachers and supporting staff needed to be vaccinated. It's an assurance to the public, to the parents, that we are adhering to the SOPs and one of those being vaccination. And because the majority of the children we're working with are below the age of 18 and are not yet in the category of, of, of those who are going to be vaccinated in this country, it was very, very important for us to give that reassurance that we are healthy, one, to protect ourselves as teachers, but also, too, to make sure that we protect the children, the learners that we're going to work with. Last week, we spoke to some teachers about what they think about the vaccination exercise. And they spoke their hearts out on how they can't wait to get back to their work after vaccination. Try to have some other jobs done such that we can move on with life. As you know, the only job that we knew for the first time uh, was teaching. But we decided to go for other businesses like uh, uh, One of the challenges is that we have not been able to meet our basic needs, like rent, because most of the teachers uh, are within uh, still young and we are still renting. So during the lockdown when schools are not operating, uh, because we don't have any source of earning, we have not been able to meet the cost of rent and even meeting a uh, small cost of medical because the fact that you are not at work doesn't guarantee you that you cannot fall sick. For the sake of my life, to safeguard my soul, even the job, of course I'm missing working since we are locked down. So if we've got an opportunity of being vaccinated so that we can resume our jobs, it's a good idea. I had to buy it. She, however, warned those teachers that may not get vaccinated and expect to get back to work, saying how this will not be allowed until they get their jobs. All teachers must be vaccinated before they are allowed to enter any school. So before they come in, they'll be expected to have their vaccination card, at least that first dose, as they await to go for the second dose. So it will be a prerequisite that before you enter the school, you must be vaccinated. And if you haven't been vaccinated, then you will not be allowed into school. And therefore, you will have to go out and look for the vaccine and have yourself vaccinated. And look for the vaccine will mean going to the health centers and the hospitals nearby your school and making sure that you are vaccinated before you're allowed into school. The vaccination exercise is meant to have the majority essential workers such as doctors, security agencies and the elder receive their jobs if the nation will be safe off the lockdown brought up by the siege of the COVID-19 pandemic. Brian Senkumba, Channel 44 Prime News.